my co-author actually identifies as having a math learning disability and she and I first met when she was getting her statistics degree at UC Berkeley um, and then I sat down with her and I realized that she had all of what we would consider the characteristic issues learning mathematics that we see in students with math learning disabilities but she had all of these really amazingly sophisticated ways of compensating for how her brain works somewhat differently. So our research focused on um, sitting down and trying to identify the ways in which she experienced issues of access when dealing with standard forms of mathematical symbols and representations and the ways in which she compensated. So we identified two primary issues of access. Um, one was around her ability to conceptualize and manipulate number, so things like comparing one-third and one-fifth. That was something that was really challenging for her. Um, and. So that was the number sense component. And then the notation component was that she had difficulty with um, notation that was densely written or if notation was perceptually similar to other symbols. And so she developed compensatory strategies to deal with both of these things. So for the example of comparing one third and one fifth, she would translate all fractions into common denominators so that she could treat them like whole numbers. So she just had this very systematic way of dealing with um, hard to conceptualize numerical quantities for her and then for the notational issue she just became really deliberate in how she wrote her own notation she would rewrite things into a way that was more accessible for her so that she would be able to unpack what the problem was asking and be able to work through the solution I learned that it is a productive thing to think about issues of math disabilities in terms of issues of access and thinking about how students compensate, so what resources the students are bringing to the mathematics and ways in which they're able to then navigate otherwise inaccessible contexts. Um, and I think the other thing that we really um, focus on is the benefit of the collaborative nature of this research. So. Oftentimes, research in special education is done on students with disabilities where the researcher has all of the control over the agenda and the research questions and the interpretations made of the data and how it gets disseminated. And this was really a collaborative approach. Dylan initiated the, um, the research project. We collaboratively decided to do it. We in, were involved in the design together. And then we did all of the analysis and writing together. And so. There were insights we were able to make because the, she was so intimately involved in the whole process of generating this research. For teachers, it's really important to pay attention to when a student is having difficulty accessing the standard representations we use to teach. So if they're understanding them in a really different way than most of your other students, start paying attention to that because that might signal that those representations are not equally accessible. So that if you think of the problem as internal to the student, then teachers have very little agency to actually meaningfully um, engage that student in instruction if you think that it's something internal to the student. But if you start thinking about it in terms of issues of access and in the tools that you're using to teach and communicate about mathematics, then that becomes a lot more flexible. You can start making different instructional decisions which have the ability to powerfully shape and change the ways that the students are able to interact with the mathematics. So Dylan had really significant issues with math and yet she was a statistician and she went on to work as a data analyst for four years after she graduated from Berkeley. So just because someone might have difficulty calculating 8 times 3 doesn't mean that they can't go on to do higher level mathematics and we need to think about how we don't constrain what people can achieve simply because they might not um, they might not do things exactly like we would expect. Um.